Hey y'all, it's Monday morning, November 23rd, and we welcome you to another edition of This Week at AMG. Thank you for joining us today to hear about some of the exciting things that the Lord is doing th through AMG. And of course, this week here in the United States, it is Thanksgiving week. And we, one thing that we are very grateful is for all the partners that God is bringing to us, that are working with us. Today, we are going to be hearing from such a group that, that went to Guatemala on a short-term mission trip. This group is uh, mainly students from Silverdale Baptist Academy here in Chattanooga. And among them is my own uh, son, Alexander. And we are going to hear from them as, as they share with us how they traveled to Guatemala earlier this year and how God used them to provide clean water by installing water filters and engaging um, in evangelistic ministry with the people in Guatemala. So let's hear from this uh, group that uh, God used to minister in Guatemala. Thanks, Dad. So um, our main focus of this trip was uh, just we thought of Jesus talking about the living water in John 4, and that was our goal. We wanted to bring living water to everybody in Guatemala. We just wanted to plant seeds, and uh, we're praying and hope you pray with us that the Lord will grow them. Um, probably the best memory for this trip was a miracle that happened as we were uh, trying to install the water filter in the hospital. So we have the plans on how we're going to drill uh, marked on the wall. And, uh, you know, I'm just casually drilling when all of a sudden water starts squirting out of the wall. It was uh, horrible. But uh, I, you know, put my finger to cover it off. We shut off the hospital's water and look in the roof to make sure it wasn't a leak. It wasn't. We had struck a pipe. Uh, I had struck a pipe. So um, it was, uh, at first thing we did, we get together, we're like, let's pray before we try to figure anything out. So we prayed this uh, would work out, there would be a miracle and that this would, we would be able to get this fixed and we would still get the filter done because it was looking pretty demoralizing at the time. And um, we, uh, we drill around the pipe area and see, yes, we've struck a pipe. Now here's the first miracle. Uh, the pipe is vertical and our plan to drill was horizontal. So the pipe, like, we wouldn't get in its way anymore. Two, uh, we decide, uh, her dad, Allison's dad, is a, was a brilliant man. He engineered the project for us, and he decides, says, let's put some PVC glue and just glue some PVC pipe over this. Uh, it's worth a shot, and uh, that will keep us from having to remove the pipe and insert a PVC insert in there, which we had a limited amount of to begin with. Um, so we do that and uh, we wait two hours because that's what, how long it says to wait and we pray that the glue will hold and we won't have to put a new pipe insert. And guess what happened? We turned the water back on two hours later and it held. So we're praising God for that. That was an awesome miracle and he will do things like that for you. You just got to uh, be available for him. Um, I'm Allison Barlow, and um, one thing that really stood out to me on the trip was one day we were taking a water filter to somebody's house, and as we were walking on the street, um, a Guatemalan just asked us, like, where can I get one of these? And we told him, and I think he put money down on it, like, right there and he got one. Um, I think it shows how much it can affect people because that water that they have is very dirty and a water filter could make it so much better and it'd be a lot healthier for their family. Overall, we brought 50 water filters and then we brought a bigger water filter for the hospital. My name is Aiden Phelan and um, one of my favorite memories from Guatemala is handing out all those tracks to the people um, in Guatemala, the peop the houses, on the streets, just any chance we could. Um, I feel like those tracks that we handed out kind of planted a seed in these people. And um, 
as this as we planted the seed God started to take care of it and we hope that God out of this can grow a a tree who who in Psalms 1 it says stands firm and does not waver um, and we're just praying that God can do great things through these tracks and can do great things through these people. As you heard, going on a short-term mission trip can be very exciting and something, sometimes something unpredictable can happen. It's an adventure that is both uh, fun, that God uses, and uh, I can tell you this, in uh, my own son's life, that trip meant so much to him and it made such a difference in his life. And I would encourage you, if you want to experience firsthand what the Lord is doing in some other part of the world, please contact us and find out how you can be a part of a Mission Adventures team. Or you can visit our website at www.amginternational.org. God is working. God is doing amazing things. We are grateful to Him for the privilege He is He's giving us to serve Him, for the people that are serving alongside us, for all the partnerships that God is bringing to us. Well, that's it for this week. I hope you have a very blessed Thanksgiving and uh, uh, just enjoy your week and we hope to see you next week at This Week at AMG.